Hey guys, welcome to the Old Kids World. It's Shiani, and today, well, yesterday, I got Dino. Um, I got him from Target um, for, I think, 18 bucks? Yeah, 18 bucks. And this figure is pretty nice. Um, it's very nice. I really like it. Um, this, he's 27 steps, as you see on the box, and he's from Dark on the Moon. And, um, that's pretty much all. Now, to the Ferrari mode. The Ferrari mode is not really a Ferrari, mainly because, um, due to the licensing issues and all this other stuff. Licensing issues, um, copyright, I don't know, all this other stuff. They couldn't really get the real La Ferrari, I think it was. A La Ferrari he transformed into. But, it looks like a really cool sports car. As, like, just a sports car is pretty nice. But, unfortunately... No Ferrari. I wish I had the Ferrari logo and all that other jazz, but... Oh, well. But this is Dino in his car Ferrari, um, race, generic race car thing. And it's pretty nice. I really like it. It's, it's doable. And, um, yeah, that's him underneath. It's very complex for 27 steps. So, like, his chest is here, and then his arms are all the way up there. Um... I might do like and like I might do a separate video showing you guys how to transform him the easiest way, but um maybe I don't know. And also just um nothing to do with this video, but for another video I, I'll probably have another video, which is another voting video, and I came up with a new name for it. It's called um Return of the Primes. Transformers Return of the Primes. Let me know in the comments what you think of the name, but um. Yeah, that's for the other video. I'll talk more about that in the other video. But, yes, now I'm going to show you guys Dino in the robot. Oh, wait, I... So, one thing is that the wheels on mine has, like, a little bit of a paint defect. So, it's, like, some silver bits on the tires. So, it's, like, oh, well, it's fine. Yeah, just mine has this paint defect. And I'll tell you more about one of these foot. I think it was the right foot. I'll tell you more about that in the, in the robot. Okay, robot time. And just a careful note to be very cautious. This entire thing that holds the figure together is made out of clear plastic. The hinges, clear plastic. Even the door hinges. Well, that's kind of thing with doors. They're usually always clear plastic. But be very cautious with this. It's all clear plastic. If, if any of these break... He's not really going to be able to, like, have his body anymore. So, be very cautious with that. And here is Dino in his amazing-looking, um, robot mode. And also, before I start talking about the robot mode, something I like to point out. They gave him these extra flaps on the door wings, right? So, they fold out like that to give a better door. But on the box, they don't even use the flap. It's already folded out, so... Um, what's the point of even giving it a flap on the door wing? Um, okay, never mind. I think they just forgot to transform it. Um, just something to point out. They left the flap open up there. But, um, that's all. Now, Dino, right here, this figure, is pretty cool. I have to give it to them. They did a pretty good job. Um, it could use a little more paint in certain areas, like the, um, legs and the haunt. Let me in the legs, but I just wish I had just a little bit extra more to make it look a little better, but whatever. Nothing you could do about it, unless you paint it yourself. But, yes, this, and also, he also comes with these um, thingies, um, the blades that he used in the movie to fight the dreads off with, I believe? Yes, in the, in the, the scene that's right there. But, um, also, let me know in the comments, why is there a tab on here, on the blades? Why the heck is there a tab? Let me know in the comments why there's a tab there. That's all. But, um, the wings are super poseable. Like, they're way better than, like, Bumblebee's wings at certain times. Because they're, like, the new Bumblebee's, like, the 49 and the 70. Four, I think they're kind of annoying since they're so small, but very posable wings. I like that. But also, so now, do I recommend this figure? 
Yes, I do. Because if you because Hasbro never made an Dino fit. Oh, what the has. Hasbro never made a Dino figure. Um, why didn't they do that? Like I said, due to the licensing issues of the Ferrari and all that other stuff. But they finally have a Dino figure, and it's pretty nice. Do I? I definitely go ahead and go buy it because. Um, and also, if you have the Takara version, I don't know how the Takara version looks exactly, but I know they made one. But. Still, just buy this one. It's probably way better than the Takara one. I don't know for sure, but this one's awesome. It, it fits with the rest of the crew. It's awesome. So make sure to pick this guy up. Um, I picked this guy up at Target. Um, just just again, so you guys can know. Um, that's pretty much all what I want. That's pretty much all. So thank you guys for watching and peace out. And also, um, also here's Sam. Sorry about that. I forgot to mention the foot. Um, it's a little like it's the right one, and it's a little loose. So um, let me know in the comments if you guys have Dino and if your foot is a little loose. Just let me know so I can know that mine's isn't just a defect, or if that's a problem that everyone's having. So that's all.